potholes across western New York are becoming a pain for paramedics. They say this year the potholes have been worse than in years past, and this could actually be dangerous for first responders as well as patients. News Force Shannon Smith joins us now with this story. Shannon. Marissa, first responders know how to deal with emergencies. It's part of their job, but another part lately has been navigating potholes. Paramedics say they've even had flat tires while trying to transport a patient. When somebody calls for help, they're likely having one of the worst days of their lives. Thomas Maxian says when he has to transport someone to the hospital in an AMR ambulance, he wants to make the ride as smooth as possible. Hit a bump in the stretcher will move just a little bit. But he says it's been a bumpy road in Buffalo this year, literally. It's very difficult to maneuver around traffic, and it's more difficult to maneuver around traffic and potholes. Both City of Buffalo and Erie County crews spent the last few weeks patching potholes. Maxian says road crews have done a good job trying to fix them, but he says from the city to rural areas, they're worse this year, which can present a major problem for paramedics and patients. We've had some instances of flat tires and other things. Maxian says that's happened during a transport where another ambulance had to come to take the patient to a hospital. That's why he says drivers have to be careful when trying to avoid a pothole. And we have to be very careful um, not to make large jerky motions with the vehicles, not to swerve around. You have to proceed slowly and cautiously. In fact, Maxian says that's part of their training. Many first responders will ride on a stretcher in the ambulance while another is behind the wheel. It really helps us be much more empathetic. We literally get into the shoes of the patient and it makes you much more cognizant when you're sitting here after you've taken a ride back there. Everything in the back of the ambulance is strapped in and secure. Thing we can to um, make what is a, a potentially dangerous journey as safe as we can. He says it's important for drivers to remember when you hear those sirens or see those flashing lights. And pull to the right as quickly and safely as possible to enable the emergency vehicle to move around them on the left. That'll really help everybody out. Now, pot, the, both City of Buffalo and Erie County crews have been out patching potholes in the last few weeks. And I'm told if the weather allows, Erie County road crews will be continuing to fill potholes all this week. In the studio, Shannon Smith, News 4 at 11.